Exchange on Deep Dive. 29 after 7 right here on Capital 100.4 FM Harare's Heartbeat. Do hope that your Tuesday so far has been awesome. Mine has been perfect, perfect, perfect. Just because I'm in your company. And of course, Tuesday, we choose you. Specifically you. We do that for you. And of course, on the exchange, each and every Tuesday, um, we get into the ward call where we connect with councillors from various wards to discuss initiatives, projects and concerns that shape our communities. And you can join us as well as we delve into the heart of local governance, exploring solutions, successes and as well challenges from infrastructural development to social programs. You can get informed and engaged with the decisions that impact your neighborhoods. I'm proud uh, to be uh, joined this evening by Ward 8 in Harare East Constituency <laughs> Councillor, uh, Councillor Rufaro Matsika. Good evening to you, uh, Councillor Matsika. Thank you so much for joining us on Capitalk. Good evening, good evening. Thank you for having me. Awesome, awesome. L- let's d- uh, dive straight into it, Councillor. Um, perhaps the starting point um, would to understand uh, some of your uh, top priorities for your ward? Uh, some of our top priorities are service delivery. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's service delivery and um, sharing these platforms where us as council and the residents and the community can, can collaborate, can work together, can can have these back and forth communications which help us to know what the community needs and what we can also deliver, what we can do in the time frame. Absolutely. And uh, communication is essential, uh, you know, for, for, for anything to, to be moving along. Um, I would be curious to also then understand in terms of the same communication that you spoke about, um, how you engage with uh, perhaps your residents and also how you gather feedback, uh, you know, that you get from your community. Um, I think since now it's a modern world, there's various ways, there's various platforms that we engage with the residents that we engage with our communities. Uh, this includes the WhatsApp message, WhatsApp group. This includes these platforms where we are on, on Capital Radio, mm, yeah. um, on television, on either the, the word feedback meetings where you actually interface with the residents um, face-to-face in the different, or different, different places that they will be in. So yeah, it's, it's quite a number of of platforms. Quite interesting. Now, as as with any community, uh, I want to believe um, there are existing uh, or ex- existential, um, you know, difficulties. I would be curious to understand from you what what uh, some of the things that you inherited, perhaps, if I can use uh, for for lack of a better word, um, that that were ongoing in uh, your 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 ward. And uh, perhaps what you've been doing in, in regards um, bringing solutions forward. Um, yes, uh, you, you, you say this uh, correctly. Inherited because I I came in this year, um, in February, so it's um, it's the water issue. Residents are still complaining they are not getting water. So and water is essential for 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 everyone, and. Apart from water, it's your refuse collection, mm-hmm. which which we are doing okay. It's not really at the optimum where we want it to be. But in 118, we, we, we're proud to say, with the help of the residents, with the help of the Border Residents uh, Red Pairs Association, they already had a compactor, which they had an MOU with the city of Harare. And we also then got another compactor after I came into office, which which is uh, another win for us. So our our ward has two compactors, which now service the uh, region region five. So it, it, it's an improvement, though it's not to the <laughs> to the optimum. Like like I said, more needs to still be done. Um, Besides that, there's also the speed lightning. Mm-hmm. We we need more. We need we need to better our street lighting, and a lot still needs to be done because you'll find some of them cannot be repaired, 
they actually need to be changed. They are very, it, it's old infrastructure that needs to be changed. And for security in our world, security in the community, you find that lighting is, is, is quite essential. And it's the road, the road network. Our roads need a lot of work. We we also grateful that the the government intervened on that regard, and we found that a lot of uh, not a lot, a bit of the roads have been revamped, but a lot still needs to be done on the ground. Some still have potholes. Some you can't tell whether there's still a road existing or not. Mm. So. Um, we still need more to be done but I was glad that when we went to Amalinda opening uh, yesterday, I interfaced with the minister and also the board chair for Zunara and I also managed to communicate with them that we still have some major roads that we want to be re- re- rehabilitated in our ward and they were, they were happy they, they showed keenness in, in assisting, because apart from doing the major roads they were doing the, uh, all over Harare, they're also now bringing it, breaking it down and coming into the various wards, like they mentioned, the Glenora, they're also keen to come and assist us here in Borodo, here in, in Ward 8 in Harare East. Interesting. Um, you spoke about quite a number of, of um, uh, issues there, Kanzel. I'm, I'm just wondering then to myself, what are some of the mm. obstacles in, in achieving progress in, in, in some of, uh, you know, in, in, in some of these issues? Yeah, the obstacles we have is bureaucracy in our organization. Mm-hmm. You find um, when we have the road people, if their vehicle cannot move over, I'll give an example of maybe our team for enforcement or road people. Mm-hmm. They'll need maybe something like fuel or they'll need, uh, you know, small things that yeah. maybe at what level we should be able to be doing. But then the requisitions have to go to the head office, has various offices for us maybe to have 20 liters of fuel for us to carry out an enforcement or for getting... Uh, a, a boat, a school, you know, small things like that. So at, at City Council, we're also working at um, oh. breaking this down. We're working at what's, what's the actual word? <laughs> Hello, are you there, Councillor? Hello? Hello, Councillor, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, yes, can you hear me, Councillor? Yes, I'm here. Please go ahead. Um, you were perhaps looking for a way to, to properly describe. Yes, so decentralization, we work with decentralizing so that we, we do all this at, at what, what level. Mm-hmm. It will help us to be efficient because that's what we want. If we lack efficiency, we will not be able to deliver. But with my word, uh, I'll, I'll be proud to actually say the residents associations we have, especially the Borodjo Residents Association, which we chaired by Chairman Bob Mchasira, they really, really help in a, in a very great way. Because all the fundraising activities they do, all the funds they get, they, they do come in, they keep in, either if they give us vehicles, if we short those vehicles, if we need fuel, and any other resources that we need to function. I think we can say they have been the neck that has been holding us to, to really function because a lot still needs to be done at at state of Ara for us to function at what level. So those are some of the hindrances that we have in in council. Indeed. Um and the major one also being the lack of an enterprise resource right. um platform, the ERP. Mm-hmm. That has has just caused <laughs> chaos in in our um, inflow and outflow of, of revenue and management of everything in corporate governance. So that has also caused a great um, a, a great hindrance in in in, in our function. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, a lot of people then wonder in terms of uh, the, the 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 bureaucracy that you spoke about. It, what what is the feedback that uh, they give in terms of why 
um, you know, there are delays in, 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 in papers that need to be signed or uh, the, the communication that just needs to be done. What is the feedback that you get from these various channels? Uh, the feedback we get is, you know, when one is not in that situation, like if they're not from that particular ward, they will not maybe prioritize it. Or if, 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 if one person is happy to do the whole of Harare, I guess they also get overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. This is why we're also pushing for decentralization. Right. Um, and, and moving on to something else, um, uh, Councillor, allow me to, uh, to maybe ask you about collaboration, which is essential for, for um, any progress in, in, in any sector. Um, how do you collaborate uh, uh, with uh, local law enforcement in terms of just making sure that uh, there's progress in your ward? Um, collaboration, we collaborate with the with we collaborate with um, with Zinoa. We collaborate with Emma on various, depending on what issue exactly we are looking at. I'll give an example. If we may be enforcing on vendors or illegal structures in in the world, we we collaborate because it's 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 the it's the communications that we send to the various various stakeholders. And we then work in sync to achieve the results that we would have set or the targets that we would have set. And also the the community and the, yes, the associations, the residents' associations. Mm, indeed. 19 minutes before we get uh, to 8 o'clock, we're in conversation uh, with uh, Ward 8 in Harare East Constituency Councillor, uh, Councillor Rufaro Matsika. And of course, uh, the whole conversation is aligned to community engagement uh, right here on WordCo as well. 0719-100-404 as uh, the number if you need to WhatsApp us. And also, if you've got any questions uh, for uh, Councillor Matsika uh, over the phone right here. Now, um, Councillor, I do understand that just last month you had a 2025 pre-budget consultative meeting um if you had liberty to share some of the outcomes of uh, that meeting yes we did have a pre-budget consultative meeting and the 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 finance department was highlighting our expenditure from when the year started and when we ended and um also the hindrances of maybe why Sito Ferrari is not performing at its optimum. They they highlighted the issue of uh, red payers who are not paying. Um, they are not paying for their rates. They are not paying for their capital tax. Mm-hmm. So that also hinders how City Council has to also then um, offer some or, or carry out its, its, its work. So we we it, it brought out that maybe there's more awareness that needs to be done to in the communities to our residents to to also educate them on the importance of paying their rates because even when we had some of the residents who attended the meeting, they were actually out there saying we will never pay. Some will say we won't pay. Mm. So it also ha- it's a mixed bag. You also have some who are very loyal yeah. who pay and they pay regularly and consistently. Because you find that uh, the percentage for us, we were one of the highest ones, but we were at maybe 34%. Mm. So still a lot needs to be done. Yeah, absolutely. In the same space, um, Councillor, have you found it easy to create accord and harmony amongst, um, you know, the, the, the members of the community. Like you are saying, um, you know, as with every community, pantry, um, you know, kakatana ikako, and, you know, some want this, uh, you know, others want that. But obviously there's there's, 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 there's need to find um, that accord, uh, you know, for, 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 for the word. So have you found it easy in doing that? And perhaps if you can tell us how you've managed to uh, foster unity amongst the people of your ward. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a very complex one. It it has not been easy. Yeah. It has not been easy, I must tell you, because um, you find um, a, we ha- we we're, we're different people in in various platforms and all. So some just just vent out their anger 
some just then just want to attack. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But you, you 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 then just have to stay focused <laughs> and um we have it's, it's we have a major milestone though, mm-hmm. I must say. Um because I think these associations we have do help to bring some order in some way because in all these various groups, because my ward is quite a big one, we cover Borodo, Greston Park, Mandara, Gletchen, Brook, Brookview, part of Valentine, part of Mount Saison, part of Pomona, and Glen Lawn. So there's also all these associations broken down. So there's chairpersons in all these various uh, residents associations mm-hmm. who I then try and work like hand in glove with apart from their uh, resident committees as well. So we then have to streamline some of the communications because some of them are helpful, some of them are good, some of them are progressive and some of them are very, very uh, negative. But with the help of them, we then are able to streamline like the the, the the real issues that we have to focus on. Mm-hmm. And we, we work in sync, which we, uh, makes it easy for us to coexist and work together. Absolutely. Um, support, uh, Councillor, for, for local businesses and entrepreneurs, I want to believe in any word is essential if, if we're going to create progress. Um, I would also love to know how you're supporting, uh, you know, your local businesses in the various a- areas in your words that you mentioned and ent- entrepreneurs and how you're uplifting them as well. Um, you know, we, we, we help them when they're doing their licensing and, and aligning their businesses uh, according to our bylaws and 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 regulations, we we do like go go out of our way to do that because as you know, our salaries and resources are quite limited, are quite limiting. But we do go out of our way, and we also get to mention that um, these these corporates and and entrepreneurs. <laughs> are also keen to work with us and they do assist us. I'll give an example, like the one of the inherited problems we have at our district office, our district office is so run down for the past maybe I don't know years because then I wasn't in council and it is a it is a closure order from two thousand and two. But one of the corporates, one of the business people who we work well with in the community, we assist them we assisted them to set up their uh, operation and in return, they are willing to help us renovate our district office from everything to anything you can think about. So it's it's one of those ways. Um, if you do and play your part, they also play their part. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, and um, I, I know with 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 uh, some some communities and wards, um, sometimes they've um, found common ground and found a way to. Uh, come together, pool resources, and really strategize towards some of their goals that they have. Do you have that kind of setup as well um, in, in Ward 18? And if you do, I'm just curious as to how you manage such, because obviously everything that involves finances, uh, sometimes, you know, it's, it's a bit sketchy. So how do you ma- manage to maintain order in that regard when it comes to, uh, you know, pool sources from the ward? Uh, when it comes to pool sources, uh, for the world, the, the the associations, like the resident associations, if they have their own pool of funds, they will have their own structures mm-hmm. where they'll have the accountant, the chairperson, the, the treasurer, the, the secretariat, the what, everything in order. Mm-hmm. So they will have their own accounts that they manage. We have nothing to do with that because when they come to us then, and they're willing to chip in on anything, we, we also do the formalities where we write to the chief secretary or to the town clerk and the mayor, and we let them know what kind of help we're getting from the residents. So the record will be there at city council, and then they come in then and just do what they would want. That, what, that which they would place to do. But then we can't say they want to know how much you got and you want to know how much you spend on us and how much you have left, because it's really their prerogative to help us. 
Absolutely. Um, yes, but ab- whatever the health they want to bring along, they, they, we, they formalize it and we notify council and they carry on with, with the assistance. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Um, uh, Contribution coming through on the WhatsApp platform. Actually, a question that says, I'm positive of the initiatives being done, and thank you, Councillor, for that. Uh, my question is aligned with Harare East in general. Where do you see Harare East District in the next three to five years? Please come again. Um, they said, uh, my question, uh, th- their question rather, is aligned with Harare East in general. Where do you see Harare East District in the next three to five years? In the next three to five years, wow, it's a, it's a time where I will still be in office, God permitting. So where I want to take it is where would be some achievables. Where I would say I came in, there was no, there was no water, there was no street lighting, there was disorder in, you know, like maybe uh, illegal structures or illegal uh, activities. But then we managed to stop this. We managed to, you know, we now have a line of water that comes maybe regularly and things like that. So already I've, we've got some wins which we can celebrate and say, oh, during my, my coming in, we've achieved one, two, three. So like the milestone I told you about the district office, I had to, to engage with the corporate for us to get that kind of assistance. So that's a big win for us which will make us still maintain our, our district office and then still save the community. So it's it, it, it such, and there are some roads which are still being fixed and are going to be fixed, which is going to continue to restore the glow of our Ward 18. So what I can promise the, the, the residents is, it's it baby steps we're making, but we're getting somewhere. Absolutely. It's, it's barely a year got a lot of achievables that we can pick and smile and say, oh, I think we we have, <laughs> mm. I think we're going somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Frank, exactly. thank you so much for your contribution. I do hope that you've been answered there by the councillor in terms of the direction they're taking uh, for the next uh, three to five years. As we wrap up our conversation, councillor, um curious to also then understand how you, of course, you know, there's, there's, oh, there will always be criticism. Uh, no matter what, yes. what good work is happening in any any ward. Um, how mm-hmm. do you maintain that? How do you pe- perhaps, you know, sideline the criticism that you get uh, from people in mm-hmm. other wards or people in your ward as well? I think what what gives me the wings is to know that when you're a leader, you can never be liked by anybody. You can never have the the ticks just 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 you know going your way. You also have criticism, and when criticism comes, it shows you being noticed. You're there. You know what I mean? And it also gives you that time to, to then reflect and check where you need to correct or where you need to better. There's also mere criticism where some people just don't know where to vent out because uh, Zimbabwe really has no mental institutions that are many that can assist people. And people are going through a lot. So there's also that way you just need to breathe and ignore. It comes in, it comes out. But then if it's progressive if it's beneficial for the community and also for leadership or for city council then i take it i look at it and i see how best to then address that absolutely um um, i'm not just a counselor i'm also a businesswoman and apart from that i'm also chairperson of the movement for economic development so it's not my first position to be in leadership i've been going through any where i know okay Mm. it's not all rosy so, yes, it's that sort of training. Maybe that also gives me the strength and also um, helps me to shape me. Uh, lovely. Um, I know uh, I, I say this is the last one, but just one more contribution coming through in form of a question, which then asks, Councillor, um, how involved are the youths in your ward? Um, that's a good one. I would say we, we could make it better. Maybe on a ratio of I'll say maybe four percent. Mm-hmm. They feel that ignorance because they always have the adults doing the work for them. Mm-hmm. But we've been trying to really involve them. Yeah, I'll give an example when we do clean up campaigns, which have been managed to be done every first Friday of each month. We try to the youth. We're trying to 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 
to rob them in to understand to eat clean environment you need to also be a part of the change that you want to see so we are trying but they are not yet there Oh, lovely stuff. Um, Councillor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for joining us on Capital Talk and uh, we wish you all the best in uh, the endeavours that you're engaging in in Ward 18. Thank you very much and thank you so much for having me. Awesome stuff. Five minutes before we get uh, to eight o'clock, that was the voice there of uh, the councillor for Ward 8 in Harare East constituency, uh, Councillor Rufaro Matsika. Of course, on uh, the various things that they're doing in terms of community engagement um, in the award as well. That pretty much is a wrap on our conversation right here on Ward Call. The Exchange on Deep Dive.